In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the implied audit value for a population by using mean per unit estimation. So let's say that we're auditing accounts payable. We've got the following data here. We've got a population of 6,500 accounts payable, and they have a book value of $6,025,500. And then we draw a sample of 500 accounts, which have a book value of 450,000, and we find that the audit value of these 500 accounts payable is actually 462,000. The question is, what is the audit value for the entire population? We didn't observe the population, but now we can find what the implied audit value is from the data that we have here. So we've got a two-step procedure, what mean per unit estimation. First, we're going to take the sample's audit value, which is 462,000, and then we're going to divide it by the number of accounts in the sample, 500. So we're going to take 462,000, and we're going to divide it by 500. And that's going to equal $924. And this $924, that is our mean per unit, sometimes abbreviated MPU. So this is our mean per unit. And now that we know the mean per unit, we're going to go to step two. And we're going to say, OK, let's take that mean per unit of $924. And let's multiply it by the number of accounts in the population. Okay, so the number of accounts, so we took 462,000 divided by 500 to get the mean per unit for the sample. And then now we're just going to extrapolate that by multiplying it by 6,500. So we take $924 times, or let me write it down here. So here I'll put 924 times 6,500. And that's going to come out to $6,006,000. And so what is this number? Well, it's going to replace our question mark here. This is our implied audit value for the entire population. For these 6,500 6, accounts, the accounts payable that we're owing to uh, different entities, the implied value audit value is $6,006,000. 6,